This spell is for Jachyami Sirt, someone I have reason to believe is arming ravens and crows with pikes and spears for the coming war with the squirrels. And all I can say is, you backed the wrong side. The word is libations. It is spelled L-I-B-A-T-I-O-N-S. Libation. It's well known that libations are a primary source of nutrition for the dead and the undying alike. Demons, gods, and even our dearly departed who haven't totally departed, they're all getting by begging for libations. So we pour one out in sacrifice, in memory. Of course, folks likes to have a laugh and call them libations even when they're drinking it all themselves. <laughs> Not for gods or ghosts at all! <laughs> Joke's on them. The divine is at all of you suckers, so God gets his cut either way. And worse, the dead, they're inside you too. And not just a few. You are woven in thread made of the dead. Plants, animals, whatever you eat, plus patterns of genes and habits passed down parent to child, weirder with every stitch. That's the fabric of the flesh. Your grandparents and their grandparents and their grandparents too, they're all in there, stirred into your every cell. And furry marmots, underfoot of giant feathered reptiles, amphibians and fish and sponges and molds, back to solitary cells and organelles, all of them expired out in the wild, but alive deep in you. Creepy. Through the dimension of time, their remains reach out from the first to copy itself all the way to the drink in your hand. An inhuman centipede of former selves. For you are the way the dead can drink. You are the way the dead get drunk. So drink up and think, if now be truly the end of the line, the ball of yarn unraveling to the last, we very well could be drinking for every little thing that ever lived or ever will. So don't tell me 10 a.m. is too early to get started. And give me your words. I will spell them all.